Hello and welcome to this introductory video where I'm going to be talking about A-level English literature at Exeter College. My name's Emma and I teach in the Faculty of Humanities, Languages and Social Sciences. So the first question I want to answer is why study A-level English literature? Um, if you are passionate about reading, passionate about stories, this really is the course for you. Um, and what we aim to do on the course is to further your interest and enjoyment of literature. Um, and that is both through kind of sharing the books that, that we love um, as staff and uh, offering opportunities for you to share what you love and the stories, um, poems, plays that you enjoy reading too. You would also develop analytical, critical and contextual thinking skills um, that will not just benefit your studies um, your your program of studies while you're at Exeter College, but also uh, provide a really solid foundation for any further studies, higher education studies that you go on to complete. In addition to that, A level English literature is a really great subject to take, particularly if you are studying other subjects um, that have a high level of essay essay based content or essay based um, examinations. And finally, it is sought after by all Russell Group universities. So at Exeter College, we study with Pearson Ed Excel, that's our exam board. And in the first year, we prepare you to sit two examinations during the May-June period. So uh, those are Paper 1, Poetry and Drama, which is 60%. Um, and in that paper you will write two essays, one comparative poetry essay and one drama essay. And then about a week later you sit paper two which is your prose comparison essay and that constitutes 40% of your AS grade. Into the second year of your study of English literature with us, that's when we are preparing you to sit your full A-level examinations. Um, you, there are four components. So um, you have three exams, paper one, which is drama, 30%, paper two, prose, 20%, and paper three, poetry, 30%. Um, and alongside those three examinations, um, you'll also be completing some coursework, which is 20% in total, and that is a 2,500 to 3,000 words comparative prose essay. So I've talked about the end of year assessments. I just want to talk about how uh, you're going to be assessed in year and how we know um, how successful you're being at each assessment point. So first off, uh, we have regular in-class assessment. So we have one to two uh, mini assessments, mini mocks every half term, so every six weeks. You'll also need to complete homework and workbook completion, and that will be weekly. Alongside this, we might ask you to prepare a research presentation or to do group work um, outside of lessons. Um, and we like to try and keep these as kind of fun and creative as we can. So um, you can see here on the slide that I've included a couple of images that were from um, our artistic feedback uh, to a street care named Desire. You will have a January mock, um, which is your internal English literature exam, um, and that will be the entirety of paper one. So you get a really good feel for what it's like to sit the full assessment. And then in the May-June period, you'll have your two external exams, paper one, poetry and drama, paper two, prose. So the text that we study together in term one to uh, make sure you're prepared to sit that January mock, which is that full paper one, um, we will study poems of the decade, which is 20 um, contemporary poems from a collection as well as Williams's A Streetcar Named Desire, which is a 1947 closet drama. And then from January through to about April in term two, we'll study for the prose component, so paper two, and uh, we study Ishiguri's Never Let Me Go and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein under the um, overarching title of Science and Society. 
So some of the questions uh, that we might discuss to compare these novels are things like how do you, uh, the novels um, present anxieties around scientific advancement? Or how do the novels explore ideas of compassion? I've also included here two other texts. So these are the texts that you will study in the second year. So in term one, we study Othello together. And then in term two, we will study about 20 poems from English romantic verse. So thinking about the support that is available to you to make sure that you are successful, um, we offer four in-class lessons um, a week with your subject lecturers. You can always request one-to-one -one support from any of your teachers. Um, and we also have a really great learning support department who offer academic learning support for essay writing skills, analysis skills, research skills um, that we can refer you to. We also put on our own revision sessions, uh, invite visiting lecturers in and also put on extra events such as um, kind of extra lectures on subjects within literature that we are excited about. We've got a vast number of subscriptions to help your research um, and support your independent study, such as Massalit, JSTOR, EMAG. There, I mean, there really is such a plethora, I, I couldn't list them all here. And we use Microsoft Teams extensively. So all of your lesson uh, material, um, all of the handouts, all of the PowerPoints, videos, additional reading links, is all placed on Microsoft Teams in a class folder um, that is unique to each class. Um, so that can help you consolidate your study during the course um, and also allow you to um, kind of research and really um, revise in a really methodical way um, as we approach the exam season. So we put on lots and lots of extracurricular events at Exeter College. Um, we run trips and screenings to go out to see um, productions of plays uh, whenever we can. So uh, this academic year, we went out to see um, a production of Othello by the Frantic Assembly. Um, we also invite visiting speakers as often as we can. So uh, we had this year poet Tom Hirons in um, to uh, read some of his poetry and provide our students with a writing workshop. Um, we've had many uh, lecturers come in from different universities, so uh, Plymouth, Exeter, Cardiff uh, and UWE, all to do specific bespoke um, lectures for our students at the college. Uh, in addition to that, we um, promote lots of writing competitions, uh, particularly external writing competitions, um, and we'll support you uh, with your submissions and meeting those deadlines. Um, and uh, we also offer some workshops. Um, so this year we were really lucky to have Shivani Chambers come in um, to, from Stagecoach North Devon to um, put on some really fantastic drama workshops with all of our year one students to support their studies of A Streetcar Named Desire. Um, Exeter is also the only city in the UK to have been awarded the UNESCO City of Literature status, which means that across the city there are lots and lots of opportunities to engage with literature in the wider community. And we're always really, really keen to promote those opportunities with our students and um, to make sure that you're aware of where and when these opportunities are happening um, and uh, yeah, to, to support you with, with attendance where you can in those events. So um, just to kind of summarise now, uh, the average class sizes for uh, English classes are about 20 students in total, which is a, a really, really nice number. Um, it means that we can do really great group work. Um, we can kind of balance the style of teaching as well between um, kind of lecture styles. So we've got great on-site um, lecture theatres. Um, we can do uh, lots of group work, discussion work, workshops. Um, so you, it feels like a really nice transition coming up from secondary education um, as it, we kind of bridge the gap in terms of uh, the styles of 
uh, lessons and delivery between university and school. We've got lots of extend subjects that are found within the faculty as well. So um, subjects that pair really nicely with English literature are creative and professional writing, um, as well as introduction to teaching English as a foreign language. And of course, English literature is a really great subject to pair with any subject within the humanities, languages and social sciences um, faculty, as well as subjects in media and performing arts such as drama or media studies. So hopefully you have found this introduction um, informative um, and uh, I'm going to let you crack on now with your first flying start task.